All right, welcome to NCC TV. This is Antonio Prado for Newcastle County Government, and we are on location at the University of Delaware Bob Carpenter Center in Newark, Delaware, where Special Olympics Delaware is about to depart for Princeton, New Jersey for the National Games. And we are here to visit with Newcastle County Police Sergeant Karen Messner, who is coach of the track team uh, for Special Olympics Delaware, along with co-coach Dan Carson. Uh, the team members are Tasia Moore, Ja'Kai Walker, Justin Hall, and Amy Goodside. They are getting ready to leave, uh, but we were able to catch up with them right before they left. Hello, I'm Sergeant Karen Messner with the County Police. We're here today, we're um, on coaching track and field for Special Olympics of Delaware. It's our send-off day for the national competitions in Princeton, and the team is extremely excited. How ready is your team, do you think, for a special Olympics? Uh, they're ready. We've been practicing for three months, uh, twice a week for three months. They are definitely ready. They had summer games last weekend, and they kicked butt. Uh, you saw the kids talking. They're very enthusiastic about this. What do you think this kind of uh, event means for them? Uh, this means the world to them. They get to go. We're staying at the dormitories at the College of New Jersey. They get to stay in a dorm, just like their brothers or sisters do when they go to college. They're away from their parents. For some of them, it's their first shot at independence, away from the parents. Um, and they get to show the world what they can do, how fast they are. Now, Sergeant, I know this means a lot to you, but why don't you tell our viewers what Special Olympics uh, means to you personally? To me, I can't even start. Um, these guys have taught me patience, acceptance. I've been doing this for 20 years, start out giving medals in uniform. Been coaching for about 15 years, and I wouldn't have it any other way. I coach two teams. And it just teaches you a lot about life and, and perseverance. Okay, what are your names? Amy! And who's with you? Jaysha! Amy, what are you doing? Uh, what are you competing in? Track! Track! All right. What's fun about Special Olympics? I had a great time. Yeah? And are you, are you sprinting or, or doing a long distance? No, a long distance. All right. And what's your friend doing? Track! All right. Anything else? Do you like your coach a lot? Yes! <laughs> All right. What's your name? My, my name's Justin. What's your name? Jakai. Justin, what are you competing in? Track. Distance or sprinting? Running. All right. Jakai. Running. Job port. Running. All right. What do, you, what do you like about Special Olympics? It's awesome. It's awesome. It's great. It's great. The coach. The coach. What do you think about the coach? It's great. They awesome. They awesome. Now before Special Olympics Delaware left for Princeton, New Jersey, there was a ceremony in which each member of the team was announced to the crowd in a very enthusiastic ceremony. In about 30 minutes, Team Princeton. Delaware is going to be heading to Princeton, New Jersey. Yeah. Yeah. to join 3,500 athletes from around the United States for what is being billed as the most dynamic, innovative, and largest national games to date. The 2014 Special Olympics USA Summer Games. <laughs> to our athletes, we're so proud to have you represent Delaware, the state of Delaware at the national games. We wish you the best of luck. We we'll want you to remember that for us, you're always number one. And no matter what, people here in Delaware, we're all proud of everything that you guys have accomplished already. So just know that you have the entire state behind you, and go out and just keep those smiles on your faces. So are you guys ready for this week? Are you guys ready to have some fun? For NCC TV, this is Antonio Prado. Thank you for watching.